Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are looking at the mod function on Power Automate. So, what is the mod function? Well, the mod function allows you to do modular arithmetic on Power Automate. So what does this mean then? Well, let's say we've got a integer a variable of total students, which is 13. And then we've got another integer variable of max class students, which is five. Now what we want to do is we want to get the remainder of the students that do not fit into a class. What we can do is we can use the mod function to pass in total students and then pass in the maximum class students. So what we'll actually get back is we'll get back a total number of students of three. So we know that there are three students that do not fit into our two classes. So, we cannot actually fulfill a total of three classes, but we have a total of two classes that are full, and we have three students that are left. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on Power Automate. We've got a manual trigger for our flow. We've got the total students, which is a student variable integer of 13. And then we've got the maximum students per class of Five, which is also an integer variable. We are then getting the remaining students that do not max out one of our classes. So let's say we needed a maximum number of students in a class to actually fulfill the costs of running a class. Well, in this instance, we're going to use the mod function and pass in the students variable. And then we're going to pass in the class maximum students variable so that we can divide the number of students between the classes and get the remaining students that would not fulfill our current requirements of having a maximum class. So then we'll know how many students will not be able to participate because it will not be cost effective enough for us to run those classes. So let's actually take a, a look at this in action then. Let's just run the flow. Okay, so we've run the flow. We've assigned both of our integers and we get a remainder of three. Now what happens then is we have 13. We divide that by five and then we just return the remaining amount, which is three because five goes into 13 twice, and then we get the remainder, which is free. And that is how we use the mod function on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.